Hello, Paul Hamilton here. One of the last tutorials we're going to be looking at here with new Swift Playground, um, the Playgrounds app from Apple is looking at the answers. So um, actually when we actually add a new and create a new Playground, we can jump into the answers section. And what this is fantastic for is actually, once again, uh, kids learning how to code, but it's fantastic in regard to looking at input and output um, and looking at data fields and actually um, input and output and how we can manipulate to actually um, I don't know, ask kids survey questions, fantastic in the education area and so on. So if I actually run my code here, it says what is my name and I actually if I put in Paul and actually submit it, it says hi Paul. So we're looking at, um, we're looking at answers, we're looking at being able to um, get computer programs to interact with the user and so forth. So um, there's some really, really great little areas that you can actually change it. So it could be something like what is your uh, favorite color and you can start to manipulate the actual code in regard to what it's actually asking and what it actually responds with as well. Um, so there's just some fantastic little features in Apple Playgrounds for iOS 10 um, that you can start to play around with and if you haven't checked out some of our other quick looks of shapes but also uh, blank templates as well please have a look at them.